Well, hello everyone and welcome back. If you've just been watching the first part of this set of tutorials, uh, we just talked about how to get started in setting up Dreamweaver to, to get to work. In this one, we're going to start uh, adding the pages in that are going to make up this website. So if you haven't yet, please download the sample files if you want to follow along. Also, there's some handouts there. That getting started handout goes, goes through these steps uh, that's the written version of these steps. Okay, so uh, one other thing. You may notice when you're watching this recording uh, a couple of buttons just kind of in the lower left hand corner there of the screen that allow you to toggle between uh, a scrolling view and a full screen view or zoomed in and zoomed out. So the default view is that you see my entire screen uh, but it may be a little bit fuzzy. If you want a little clearer view, go ahead and click the other button. I think it's labeled scrolling. Uh, if you hover it over it, click on that. It will zoom in. You won't be able to see my entire screen, but um, it will sort of adjust itself as I move around. It will adjust itself, and then anytime you can click back and go back to full screen mode. Okay, that might be helpful as we're, as we're going along here. Um, so I'm going to just uh, expand this window all the way across and that might help a little bit uh, to make things more clear. Okay, so now we're back here inside of Dreamweaver and we've set up our site. I can see my local files here down this right side. So as I start to get to work, the first thing I want to do is I need to add the pages in that I think I might uh, need in my website, the HTML file. So each page within my website I'm going to need an HTML file. So I'm going to right click uh, right on top of this site folder. So I select the site folder, right click, or if you're on a Mac you can control click. You'll see that new file comes up. It drops the new file in and is ready for me to name it. So the first one I'm going to need is one called index.html. So I type that in press return and now I have that document. Now it's just blank but it's ready for me to start adding content to or start designing on, start building on. Um, also just so you know if you went out to the desktop now and you looked inside that um, folder on the desktop, let me just do that quick. Um, there's my local root folder on the desktop there and, and I can see in there that that HTML file that I just added in Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver created the file and saved it in here for me, which is awesome. Um, okay, so back to Dreamweaver. There's the first one. Now the reason I named it index.html is that defines this page as my home page or the first page people are going to see. Now the temptation for most folks is to say is to name that home.html but that will not work because this is the page when we upload it to the web server the web server has been programmed to look for this particular page as the one to send back to people first and you can see how it look it appears at first people will think or you might think when you look at the, those local root folders over there you might think that that index file is inside of the images folder that was already there but if you look close that little dotted line that comes out of the um, index um, file and heads up onto the heads up you can see it doesn't go into the images fo folder it goes all the way up to the site folder the things that are inside the images folder are indented underneath it so if I toggle that on you'll see that there there is a set of stuff that's inside the images folder but you can see how it looks when I when I open it up that images folder or when I close that images folder um, I can when I, especially when I close it, I can still see that the index.html is there. So that's going to be my first page. Um, now I can start adding the other pages that I think I might need. Um, and you know, for this example, or for this little project, I'm going to kind of pretend I'm making a website for um, a, a K K6 class, just because it's a little bit uh, a little bit simpler to keep it organized. Okay, so I've got my home page. I now I need a page that I want to put. Um, a calendar on. So I did. I right-clicked again, and I'm going to go to. Ca I'm going to type in calendar.html. Okay. So now that page exists, and maybe I need a page now that is going to have um, all the information that I want the parents of my students to know. Maybe a parents parent news or news in my class. So I'm just going to name that parent info.html 
And you can see how I put two words in there, parent info, and instead of leaving a space or putting a dash or putting an underscore, I just wrote it all together, which uh, those other things are okay to do, but I think it keeps things simpler if we don't put spaces or dashes or underscores uh, into our file names. Okay, so I've got my index, I've got a page for my calendar, I've got a page for my parent info, uh, maybe I'm going to have a page that I'm going to have uh, links on, like resources for my students' website they can go to to get homework help or other information uh, that I want them to go to. So I'm going to have a page called links.html. Drop that in. Uh, let's see, I want one more here, a contact me page. I'm going to go up to the top folder again, right click, new file, and this is going to be the contact me.html page. I put that one in and let's see that's pretty good. We've got five pages, calendar index, links, parent info, contact me and uh, I'll just put one more in for fun here. Um, I'm going to put an about me.html page so I could um, tell my students and parents a little bit about myself where I went to school, uh, maybe my the philosophy I have about teaching so I've got this set of six pages and my goal is to design what they're going to look like first. Okay, So I've got to somehow um, design them. Then I need to build some uh, a menu or navigation so that these pages are linked together. And then I need to get that design and that navigation onto all six of the pages so that um, as soon as you get to my website you'll be able to navigate between these pages uh, easily. So I'm going to add one more page in here, and this is the one we're going to call, uh, this is my mockup.html. So this page is the page I'm going to use to do my design work on. So it's, I'm going to do my layout on this mockup page. And when I'm finished, but it's not going to really be part of my website. Uh, those other six pages are the pages I need. Nobody's going to see this mockup. I'm just going to use the mockup. Um, so that I can have something to design on, almost like scratch paper. Once I'm finished with the mock-up and I have it looking kind of how I want my website to appear, I'm going to save it as a template. So what we're doing is going to create our own template. I'll save that as a template and then I'll use the template to get my navigation and my design or my layout onto my other six pages. And then all I have to worry about on those other six pages is putting the content in, what I want to show up, putting the calendar in, putting the about me text in, putting images on, putting welcome messages, putting the links in, putting the parent info, that's the kind of stuff I'll, I'll worry about. So we're going to cover that in the next tutorial. So hopefully you've uh, paused and followed along. If you haven't, then please pause or stop now and go back, open Dreamweaver up, get these steps done. You might want to pause and watch uh, pause and follow along at the same time. Uh, that'll be it. So on to tutorial number three.